everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we have another colored pencil review. I have the 180 Brute Funer Oily Colored Pencils. They just got delivered by my Amazon driver. So I was totally excited to receive these because I know so many of you were waiting for me to review these pencils. <laughs> Most of you saw my last video where I reviewed and did a few different blend tests and also compared the 120 set of Brute Funer squared colored pencils to the Polychromo set. And I wanted to be able to do the same thing with these, but with these, I am going to compare this 180 set to the 120 set with the squared barrels. So if you are interested in seeing this review and comparison, stick around. If you enjoy seeing videos like this, please do make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn your bell notifications on so that you always know when I post a new video. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up as it helps my video to be seen by other colorists that are interested in these pencils. If you check the description box below, you will find links down there to my Facebook group if you would like to join us over there. You will also find a link if you would like to join my email list, as well as a link for my Patreon if you would like to support me there. And as always, in no matter what way you support me, I appreciate all of of you. Let's go ahead and get into this video. I already started and took off a bit of the plastic so that it was easy to unbox these or at least take the plastic off on camera. <laughs> As with the 120 set of the Squared Brute Funer pencils, it also has this sleeve on the outside of the box. So let's just go ahead and get the sleeve off. So this one is not apparently coming off as nicely as the 120 set did, so I had to tear it, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I do love the artwork on the sleeves that they put on top of these black tins. I just wish these plain black tins had that artwork from the sleeves actually on the tins, and that's actually what I had assumed when I received my 120 set, and I was like, oh, the tins look really, really cool and have some really neat artwork on them. But that was not the case when I received it. Let's go ahead and pop the top off of here. So as with the 120 set, you get your swatching sheet so that you could swatch out your colors. And here are the pencils. Now, this is a lot of pencils. There are 180 pencils in here, and that is a lot. <laughs> I don't think I have another set that is that big. And I would imagine with a set like that, with so many colors, that there are probably quite a few colors that are very close to one another. They come with these trays that make it easy for you to pull them out, but the trays are kind of flimsy, so of course, as with all of your colored pencils, you're probably going to want to put them in a case, and you guys know my favorite cases of all are the BTSKY cases on Amazon, and I always have a link in the description box below for those. These look really nice. As you can see, they have a black barrel with the color tips, and then they do have names nice and big on them. Look at that. This is the last tray. Let's go ahead and grab one of these pencils and take a look at it. Oh my gosh, I just noticed right away that they have metallic colors in here. Look how cool that is. This is metallic violet. That is so super cool. I wonder how many metallics are actually in this set. We'll have to take a look. They already seem quite different than the uh, Brute Funer 120 squared set. And we are going to test that out because we are going to lay some of these down onto my favorite paper, the Spring Hill paper. You guys probably all know that already. And we are going to try a few different blend tests, and I'm going to try a few different colors because I wonder, 
I don't know, I have a lot of questions about these pencils, but we're gonna get all those questions answered in this video, and you guys are gonna hear all my first impressions as with all my unboxings. So this one is called Grayish Pink. As you can see, it's got the, uh, the name of the pencil on the pencil barrel, nice and big, and then it has a number. And if you look at the lead, it looks like the lead is pretty nicely centered so it doesn't seem that there would be an issue with that. I grabbed one of the triangular pencils from the 120 set. And this way so you guys can see what the difference is because I not only want to review and do the blend tests and such for this Brute Funder 180 set, but I also wanted to show you the differences between these two sets, which was the main or my main um, focus of this video. So if you look at these two together, you can see that the 120 set, they are squared. They also have a really centered lead inside the barrel. You can see both of them right next to one another. These have the names all in Chinese and then they have a number on them. The 180 set, they say Brute Funer Color Pencils and then they say Brute Funer down here on the end. These say Brute Funer on the other side. The 180 set is going to come with the black barrels and the um, color dipped tip. And I cannot guarantee that the color dipped tip is going to match the lead of the pencil or what you see go down on your paper. I can almost probably guarantee you that you will not because that is usually the case with most uh, budget friendly pencils. And then we have the square Brute Funer that is just going to have the number and then the name in Chinese. As I did in my review of the 120 square set, and what I always like to do in most of my colored pencil reviews or unboxings or first impressions or whatever you'd like to call these videos, I like to test them in my Doll 133. You can always tell when you sharpen a pencil in any pencil sharpener whether the wood is of good quality or you know great quality how soft it is how hard it is and so that is what i always like to do so we are going to stick the pencil in here and you can always tell just by turning this crank how hard it is to turn and this one does feel a little bit harder I believe that the um, rounded black barrel feels a little bit harder when I put it in the pencil sharpener than does the um, squared from the 120 set. So I'm going to go ahead and see. But yes, definitely there is a definite difference there. And these colors do look similar. One has more purple in it, one has more pink in it, but they're similar. This was the only one I had available right now to grab because I am in the process of putting all of my 120 square set into perfect color family and then perfect color order. And that is going to be a video that is going to be coming very soon. I'm working on that now. It's a lot of work because all the uh, names are in Chinese. So you don't have that little bit of the extra hint where it actually has a color name on it. <laughs> so it's been quite difficult. That one I just sharpened was from the, I think it was purple. Yes, it was like a shade of purple. So I'm going to try with the green now and I'm going to try to sharpen a green. And I want to do a couple different ones from a few different color families because what I have found with a lot of the pencils is that when you go to like from the reds to the greens to whatever color it seems to be that the wood is different dependent upon the color family that the that particular pencil comes from even if it is within the same set and I noticed a lot of that with the Crayola pencils because with the Crayola pencils, some of them are very hard and some of them are not. I don't know, I think this one feels about the same. So that is the lead 
that we get with our doll 133 you guys know this is my favorite pencil sharpener i probably don't need to tell you that again <laughs> but i'm like obsessed with this sharpener it's amazing let me get another color and maybe we'll try like a red and then i want to look through the trays with y'all and kind of go over some of the colors so that we could kind of look at the range of colors. This one is just straight up red. So let's see how this one feels in the sharpener. It feels about the same. So I'm going to assume, I'm going to have to assume that the wood or the quality of the wood within the pencils is pretty much consistent with most of the colors. Let me try one more. Let me try a brown. Oh wow. Okay, so this color is called coffee and this one is much softer. I could tell immediately when I put that one in the pencil sharpener that one was much softer. So I'm glad I tried one more. But now it makes me wonder, let me try this bright hot pink here. This looks like a beautiful color. Let me try this and see. That one feels about the same as the others did. Okay, so I tried several different color families and the brown was much softer. So I don't know, the brown felt a little bit softer. I don't know what the situation may be with that, but I find that on a lot of different colored pencils. I'm gonna try a gray one here just for kicks and giggles and see. Sharpening the gray one, it gave me a beautiful sharp lead but it felt about the same hardness as the rest of them when I sharpened them, except for that one brown one. So I'm wondering if maybe it is just in the browns. Let me maybe try one more. That one feels softer. Okay, so there's a little bit of an inconsistency when it comes to that. Not that that really, really matters, but like if you were to put a Prisma color into your sharpener, you would be able to feel how soft it was and how much softer the wood is. And it would be much easier to crank the lever on the pencil sharpener. And with most of your budget friendly colored pencils, you are usually going to have a harder time on most of them turning the crank, especially something like Crayola that is very budget friendly. These are not nearly as hard as the Crayolas, but this pencil sharpener works wonders with no matter what pencil you put in here. And this pencil sharpener has literally saved my Prisma colors. Let's go ahead and take a look at the colors in the first tray. So we start out here with some darker greens and then we get into some lighter greens. You're probably with so many pencils going to have a lot of pencils that are very much the same. Like I'm looking right here and I could tell just by looking at the leads that these greens all right here all look very similar. And I would say at least three of these are extremely similar and I would even go as far to say that possibly four of them may be similar because this one here looks a lot like these down here too. Then we go into our, look at this gorgeous bright yellow. This is called, yeah, it's just called light yellow. <laughs> so look at that beautiful color. I wonder what that looks like when it's swatched. And then we've got a lighter, brighter yellow, and then this gorgeous bright yellow. I love colors like that. That one's called creamy yellow. This looks like what I would consider a cream color. And then we've got some brighter yellows again. Then we go into our yellow oranges, into our oranges, and then some reds. And then we get down in here to the reds that have some brown in them all the way at the end. So that is the first tray. Let's pull up this second tray and take a look at these. So we start here with the what looks to be a red with a lot of brown in it coming from the other tray and just kind of continuing in. 
So then we've got, we're kind of, it looks like we're going into our pinks now. So we've got our pinks and then the pinks are starting to lighten up. Then we've got some what look to be kind of like salmon colors. And then here we have a mustard yellow and then a deeper yellow. And then we've got our peach colors. And then here we have more greens. So we've got more greens here and like this one looks like it might be like a lime peel type color from the Prismacolor set. It looks very similar, I think. It's always hard to tell unless you've swatched them, but look at this gorgeous green right here. Look at that. And then we're getting into our teals, it looks like, and then we're going back into greens. Now, I'm just assuming from what I'm looking at on the leads of the pencils, it's really always hard to tell, again, with budget-friendly pencils until they're actually swatched. But look at this, we have another metallic. Look at that gorgeous metallic green. So yeah, we have metallics in this set. That's called metallic light green. That is really super cool. Now I'm wondering if we've got a metallic in every color family because that would be really, really neat. That's something that a lot of um, pencil or colored pencil sets don't actually come with. Like you've got your Artezas and they come with a few different, I think there might be like four metallics in the Arteza 120 set, but not for every color family. And yeah, here is metallic cyan blue. So yeah, there may be a metallic in this set for every color family. So that's interesting. So we're getting into our purples now and then our darker purples. And then we are kind of scooting over here into our blues and then our lighter range of blues. Oh my gosh, is this a really light blue? I'm gonna have to swatch that and see. I don't know if you guys have watched my previous videos, but I am always looking for pencil sets that have a very light, light blue. You know how like in the uh, Prismacolor set, you have your cloud blue and your sky blue, and they're just the most beautiful colors ever. Colors like that are so hard to find in any colored pencil set. And you would imagine if you've got a set of 180 pencils that you would be able to find a very pale light blue, but maybe not, we'll see. There may be some blue in some of the other trays. So we've got, we're going back into our purples here, and then this looks like our purples with some pink in them. Onto the next tray. We have some purples and then more purpley pinks. And then it looks like here we have another red or a dark red, like kind of a reddish brown and then purple and then more kind of reddish brown colors into more purples. And then here we have a beautiful light purple and then we've got more greens. My gosh, those of you that love to color leaves, look at all of these greens. I mean, you guys know that your leaves don't always have to be green, but you can make a gorgeous leaf that is all green with the selection of greens that you have in this set. Look at that. Okay, and then we have the next tray, and we are, I zoomed it out a little bit because I thought it would be easier for you guys to see the, uh, the color dipped um, tips of the barrels as well as the lead. It's so hard to tell when you're looking at any pencil, mainly budget-friendly pencils, what the color actually is when you're just looking at the leads of the pencils, and that's what I'm trying to do because that's usually what I use to kind of determine what the color is, but like with the 120 set, I started swatching those when I was putting them in color order, and I was very surprised as what laid down on the paper when I was swatching them so that I can make sure they're in perfect order, and I actually had some very dark olive greens that look like they would have been black. Like when you look at the lead, they looked like blacks. So I'm gonna come down here, and if I'm coming down here, I'm looking at some of these and it looks like kind of the same situation. Let me see what this color is called here. Okay, so that is definitely a gray. And we're getting into some dark grays down here, but we have like this one is called olive, and so that would be a green. So we've got a lot of olive greens in here, 
and we've got a lot of purples in here. Of course, we've got our metallic color. I bet that color is beautiful when you lay it down. And then we have another metallic color here. This one is metallic ochre. But look how pretty that is. That's like a metallic pink. Oh my gosh. Just for the colors, guys. Just for the colors. I <laughs> already like this set just because of the colors. <laughs> I am already really liking this set just because of the range of metallics that you get in here. It seems that there may be a metallic for a lot of the different color families in here. I mean, there were two alone in that last tray, but let's look at this tray and see. We've got, it looks like we've got a lot of grays here. And then here we have our silver and then our white. And then we get into some more mustardy yellows. And we already had some more mustardy yellows in the, um, I think it was in the first tray. And then we've got some browns here. And it looks like the rest of this tray is browns. Now some of those browns may be mixed with a little bit of red. And I organize my colored pencils and I put them into my favorite colored order. I am always going to pull all of those ones that are a more reddish brown or a deep red with brown in them. And I'm going to stick them where the reds are just because that is my preferred method of putting them in order. Okay, so I don't really want to put all of these back in the box because I want to move on to doing a little bit of a blend test with them so we can see how they lay down on paper. Y'all know that I always like to do a blend test with any new colored pencil set that I receive because I want to see how well they blend together and I'm going to do that on this Spring Hill paper. This Spring Hill paper is fabulous. It's great for those of you that are printing out your PDF pages to color and it's got a really good amount of tooth and it really works well with no matter what colored pencil set that you're using, whether it is an artist grade uh, set or a budget friendly set. So let me tell you what colors that I picked out from the 180 set. I've got plum for my darkest color and oh no, that's not my darkest color. So I've got deep purple for my darkest color and then I've got plum for my mid-tone and then I have this light pink for my lighter tone. And if I look at these over here, you can tell that they are very, very similar. And these two actually look very much the same. I know that some people were saying that this pencil set is very similar to the um, shuttle art set, but I believe the shuttle art set comes with 174 colors and this one has 180 colors. I don't know if possibly that may be the difference in the metallics because I don't have the uh, shuttle art set, nor do I intend to purchase it. I only purchased these because it has been so highly requested that I did a comparison to find out if these pencils are the same. So let's go ahead and do our blend test with these. So we're gonna start out with the 180 set because if you guys saw my previous video on the 120 set, you saw how these blended together. They blend together beautifully. I absolutely love these and I've been coloring with these and they are wonderful pencils. If you've not yet seen that video, I'll make sure that it's linked in the upper right hand corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay down, let me lay down my lightest color first since these are oil pencils. Now see, I heard some people saying that these feel scratchy. This is not scratchy at all. And I will also tell you, when I was sharpening these, these two colors, the two lighter colors in the pink range, they actually felt softer in the pencil sharpener. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but that is my lightest color. And I'm gonna come back over here and lay this darker tone right over the top and then I'm kind of lifting up off my hand and applying light, light pressure as I kind of go into that lighter color. And then I've got my darker tone here. And these, they're laying down nicely. Let me come back here and lay a little bit more of this mid-tone. 
Now I wonder if they blend two colors together to create another color just as well as the other ones did. These are laying down really nice. I'm just excited that those of us that like to use oil-based pencils more, we have um, budget-friendly options. I believe that for the longest time, the only option in oil-based colored pencils, as far as budget-friendly, were the Speer Farben, and those are fabulous pencils. But you guys can see I'm getting a few layers down here. They're not scratchy or anything. I think that they're, I don't know, I think they feel the same as the square ones. Let's go ahead and come back the other direction and see what we can do here. And I'm pushing a little bit harder and the weight of the paper is going away. And if you can see here the transition, the two colors are actually blending together very nicely. Now let's see if we can make another transition here between these two colors. And it is. It's actually pulling that color down and blending it in. And it's actually creating a little bit of a different color here in the transition. And the more I go over this, it's actually getting rid of the tooth of the paper, which is fantabulous. Fantabulous. Do you guys like my new words? <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and try that out against the 120 set. They feel the same when they go down on the paper. I really love these pencils. And then here is our darkest color, and we're just kind of pulling that through down into this one or into our mid tone color. And then we come back with our mid tone color and we lay a little bit more of that. They're laying down the same. And these two colors, this one and this one, the mid tone on both of them, looks very similar. And these two colors here look similar too, but this one definitely has more pink in it. So let's come back and go over these again, and I'm going to start with the darkest one, and I'm just going to pull that down here. And let's check out this transition here too. So if you can see here, I don't know how close you can see that, but the transition here between the colors, if I'm comparing the two, it looks like this is actually creating a better transition. These are just kind of blending together, which is great, but this one looks to be creating a transition in the two colors. Let me lay a little bit more down and we will definitely know for sure. And then let's lay more of our lighter color down. And then let's come back like we did with the other ones and we're gonna go the opposite direction to try to kind of fill some of the white in that paper and to get a better blend. And 
this here, this color in my hand, not that I know what color it is, but it's 110. This one, when I laid it down on the paper, was very surprising because the color is completely different from what you see on the barrel of the pencil. This is the perfect example of why you should never trust budget-friendly pencils. <laughs> and then let's pull this down just a little bit more. Okay, so you can see how both of these look next to one another. This one looks like maybe it is blended in maybe a little bit more, but it might have to do with the fact that I did not, I probably could get some more layers over here on this side. But I don't know, this one does really, really well, but I kind of like the transition in the 120 set better. I don't know, maybe it's me. Let me see how much more I can get down on the paper and cover. Yeah, it's covering more that way. And then let's come back one more time with our lightest color. Yeah, so now they look about the same. I just didn't have enough pigment down on the paper, but they both look pretty much the same as far as I can see. I probably just have a little bit more pigment down on this side than I do on this side, but the transition between both of them was really, really good. Even like this color here is much darker than this color and they still blended together and transitioned very nicely. And then the same over here. I even think this one probably has a little bit better of a transition over here on this side between these two colors than this one, but that may be because this one is so much darker and this one is so much lighter and these look like they are a little bit brighter. I don't think that this color is actually the same as this color. This one has more pink in it than this one does. So for those of you that are wondering if the same colors are in both sets, I, I'm kind of thinking that this 180 set is a whole different set of pencils. And I thought that I saw somebody saying, or I saw a YouTube video somewhere that was saying that these are very similar to the Shuttle Art set, but I cannot guarantee that. I wanted to take this one step further and I went and grabbed my polychromos and I want to see the difference in these two compared to the polychromos, especially for those of you that hadn't watched my Brute Fooner 120 set of the squared pencils yet, where I did compare those to the polychromos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay these colors down. These are the closest I was able to find to the colors that are here from the other two sets. And I'm going to blend, do a blend test with these right down here in the center between these two so that you can see the difference. So we're going to start with our lightest color. And then we're going to come in with our mid-tone. I'm laying the polychromos down, they do feel like a harder pencil. And both of the Brute Fooner sets both feel much softer. And that is probably because the polychromos contain more oil rather than wax. Because most colored pencils are a um, mix of oil and wax, just some of them contain more of one or more of the other. So these are the polychromos. Let's come back and go this direction now. Let's lay a little bit more of our mid-tone down. And then we're going to come back in with our lightest color. And 
and you all can see the transition here between colors and you can tell that the polys have a really nice transition between the colors but so do the other ones and if you can't afford polychromos you have a really great oil-based budget-friendly option now see these are an artist grade pencil and you could tell that the transition between these two is going to be much better but they're also much more expensive so for me I don't mind either one of these like I think that the transition is great too just it's better with the polychromos but you're also going to spend a whole lot more money like in this set I think I paid or in the 180 set how much did I pay? 30 something dollars because I got it when they had the coupon. I think I got it when, right when they uh, right when they went back in stock after the 120s were sold out. I purchased it and it seems that when they put these Brute Fooner pencils up the first time, like when they first go up and they come back in stock, they attach a coupon to them. And then after they first start getting bought, then the coupon goes away. Okay, so those are our polychromos. And you could clearly see that on the polychromos, the um, transition between the colors is much smoother. But both of these Brute Fooner sets, they both seem very comparable to one another and they will work just as well as the polychromos. Now the other one thing that I'm noticing is that in both of the Brute Fooner uh, sets, I don't know if you could see this on camera, but there is a lot of pieces like pencil pieces and pigment all over my white paper here and I don't remember that happening when I originally did it with the Brute Fooner um, 120 set so I'm wondering if all of that color is coming off from the 180 set. I don't know. I would have to um, check further into that and see. In my last video where I did my first impressions and my review on the other Brute Fooner set, the 120 squared set, I did some comparisons with the white pencil. And so I want to be able to do the same here. For those of you that did not see that video yet, of course I'll have that linked in the upper right hand corner, but you could see here these are the polychromos. And so this is what the white looks like going down. And then this is the Brute Fooner uh, 120 set white, which was really surprising because it kind of falls right in between the polychromos and the Prismacolor because the Prismacolor um, I don't know if it has anything to do with it being a wax-based pencil, but this is one of the most opaque whites that you will find. And this one in the Polychromo set looks more translucent, and then the 120 set is kind of right in between. So I'm going to go ahead and lay the white, um, white pencil from the 180 set. I'm going to do that one here, and we're going to see how that compares. I also want to say that when I put this one in the pencil sharpener, this one seemed very soft. Like the wood was much better quality for some reason in this white pencil. It was much softer. It was much easier for me to turn the lever on the pencil sharpener. Okay, so that was one layer. And with these other ones, I went over it a couple times. So I'm going to do the same. Okay, so the white from the 180 Brute Fooner set looks exactly the same as the 120 Brute Fooner set. That is all of the testing I'm going to do. And if you have any questions after I play around with these a little bit more, I will be um, in my Facebook group and I can answer any of your questions that you may have as far as these pencils. I know a lot of you have already ordered these pencils and you may already have them and you are waiting for my thoughts on these pencils. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope that you enjoyed it. And my next video will most likely be 
the um, 120 set being put in exact color family and color order. I'm going to work on finishing that up today so that I could get that up as soon as possible for those of you that are looking to put your pencils in order. As always, I will have links in the description box below for everything that you've seen in this video. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Happy coloring. Bye.